Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I'm here with the second part of my haul video. I went to some garage sales yesterday, and I picked up some stuff, and then I realized I had a few things from the thrift stores that I hadn't shared either. So, But before I jump into it, I want to say thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, these are some of my patrons that support me over there. If you are a merch designer or are on merch and are looking for some help or some designs and things like that, come visit me on Patreon. And also find me on Facebook at Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, Texas Gal Treasures, and also in my thrifting group, International League of Thrifters. So those are the places you can find me. I'm also on Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures. So hello, 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 everybody. I am uh, live, so if you are ever interested in coming to join us live, then click that subscribe button and hit the little bell, and then you'll know when I go live. So yeah, yesterday I actually got some pretty good things at the garage sales, and I went to an estate sale too, so I got some good stuff. Um, so I have this, well, it doesn't look like that much, but I guess it's this one. And then some wrapping paper and things like that. But I'm going to go in backwards order because why not, right? It's backwards order day. And pick up, uh, I'm reaching, show you some stuff that I picked up. Oh, there goes one thing. I'm going to get it because I wanted to show it to you. It fell. Hang on. It fell, of course. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um, so yeah, I hit a couple thrift stores earlier in the week. I don't think I shared this. I think I showed a picture on Instagram. Uh, of this bracelet. So I picked up this bracelet at the Salvation Army and it's this tribal like bone inlaid bracelet. And the guy, I feel like I told you this already. Oh, it was, maybe it was in the fall video or the ride along, I don't know. It has this like pin, you know, closure on it, this type of bracelet. Well, the guy at the good, at the Salvation Army thought it was broken. But anyway, so I paid about three bucks for that. I'm probably going to put this around the $25 mark on eBay and Etsy. Um, yeah, so there's that. Hello, friends in the chat. Hello, hello. Um, oh, while I'm at it, let me do this, because I forgot. I can poo. Ha ah, now we can see you. You can't hide in the shadows anymore. <laughs> we see who you are. Okay, so <laughs> I also picked this up. Uh, it's not my normal pickup, but it was so cool. It's this, um, pink onyx is what I think this is. Like Mexican onyx. So this necklace... I paid half for it, so it was half of seven bucks, like three fifty, and yeah, so there's that. I will probably ask in the twenty dollar range for this cool necklace, maybe more, but yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing with that one. And then there's a couple things that I didn't look up yet. These are the our Stella and Dot charms. They were a buck ninety nine each. One of them is a birthstone charm. And one is a heart. So this one's got the little heart charm. And then the other is a birthstone. I I remember looking it up, and now I can't remember what it was. So the birthstone one was the one I saw on the online. So there's the birthstone one. So we'll see how those do. We'll see how they do. So hello. Oh, thank you for my, uh, my yeah, I got my nails. I got the green. I let the kids pick. So it was blue before. So, oh, yeah, I haven't worn the octopus in a while. I wore it uh, the other night when I was on with Jason. And so I was like, ah, let's put it on again. Why not? And, and look, look, I got this. I didn't look this up because I'm probably going to keep it. So, gosh, where did I get this? It must have been, it was either Salvation Army or Goodwill. <laughs> I'm figuring out the chat thing he is. So, and this one kind of goes with my necklace that I'm wearing now. So this is a mermaid. I like mermaids a lot. I need to look it up because it does say... It says L-A-G-H-C-A-T. And if I try to pronounce that, Lockat. So I don't know if that's, it sounds Scottish. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm probably going to keep that because I think she's cool. I don't know what the deal is. I, like I said, I didn't look it up because I was like, I'm keeping it. Why bother? And now I wish I looked it up. So um, I got that. And then at, okay, if you watched me on Jason T. Smith's channel the other night, uh, my my thrifty encounter, because he does close encounters of the thrifty kind, um, I was at this thrift store that I almost never go to because their prices are so high, but I went in there, and then it was where they got the, I was, I was like, I was 
blah, blah, blah. let me get my my brain is going faster than my mouth you know how that happens so I was looking at the jewelry and this lady I hear behind me say excuse me would you like a sample and I turn around and there's this girl handing like holding a tray with like little samples of cake on it um, and this thrift store has a kind of like a deli not exactly a deli but like a little restaurant where they have hot dogs and cakes and stuff so she's going around the thrift store giving people cake samples so anyway Long story short, while I was there, I picked up a bunch of this cashmere bijou Schaffhauser wool. So it's this cashmere um, yarn. And it is discontinued. It is in German. In, and so, I mean, I've got a bunch of it. Hang on. It's like well, this whole bag full of red and navy. And it was about 20 cents about 20 cents a skein or a ball um, so I'm going to try to figure this out again and then I'm gonna come to the chat and say hello so okay here we go oh, there it is I did it yay okay so this is not the same brand because the brand I have I couldn't well I couldn't find my same exact ones I could find them on Ravelry but they are discontinued I know Julie Wright food in the in the thrift store yeah no one time I went in there and it was like free hot dog day. And they were giving away free hot dogs. Quick okay. So here's one, um, which is the same brand, you know, Schaffhauser. I think I'm saying that wrong, probably. Um, and they're selling it for about seven, $7.50 a ball. So you can do, you know, quantity nine. And let's see, let's see how much it's going to be, like $67 or something like that. Let's, let's take, why aren't you showing them my cart? What? Okay, oh, I have it in there twice, I think. These are only available uh, nine, right? So, yeah, about sixty-seven dollars. So anyway, I was looking around, and so I'm I'm definitely going to do quantity, you know, like because somebody might need three or five or whatever. So I was looking that up, and that's probably what I'm going to do. So let me go back over here and say hello to friends. Hello everybody for coming. Thank you, thank you. Um. I'm leaving words out. I'm talking too fast. Hi, Dina and Maggie. Hello, hello. Hello, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden, and Joni. And thank you. Thank you. Hello, Kelly. Vintage Thrifter says, got 10 Bakelite bangles at an estate sale for three bucks. Oh, you posted that in the group, didn't you? In, in International League of Thrifters, I think. Was it, or somebody else did. But I think it was you. I think it was you. Um, That's amazing. So, yeah, if, if you didn't get a chance to check out my chat with, with Sharon Pfeiffer, um, it was just a few days ago, and she was sharing her collection, and a few a few days before that, I did a testing thing, so if you're interested, definitely check that out. I have another lady lined up to come talk about Bakelite, um, so we're, we're trying to figure out a day and all of that stuff, so we'll see, because we're both moms of young kids and got to juggle stuff, you know? So yeah. Um, okay. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's move on. So there's that. Those are the things that I got from before, and now for the things I got yesterday. So some of the things I got yesterday was wrapping paper, and this is one of my favorite things to sell. One, because it's so cheap usually to pick up, and it's easy to ship, and it sells for good money, and it's easy to store, so I like it. And then a lot of times they're just like, uh, here, how about a buck? I'm like, okay, a dollar sounds good, so that's one, two, three four, five, six. So I got six of them for a dollar. Um, some of them are just kind of like, okay, this one will probably go for about 10 bucks. Some of them are a little more, well, ooh, this one's got more than one in there. Okay. That's got like Holly Hobby on this side and then like the vintage wedding bells. So this one I'll have to pull out and see what all's in there because some of them, like Holly Hobby has got a following. So she might go for more and then here's another one with like birthday stuff on it. I'm going to show you what I usually sell it for, how I sell it. And then there's this one again. Yay! I like that because then I can multi-item list. I only have to take one picture and then times two, right? And then ducks. So this one's not in the, you know, it doesn't have, it's not new in the package or anything. But I still... I mean, because the subject matter, it's still a full sheet. Look, there we go. Um, the subject matter is so good that somebody is, is going to pay good money for this one sheet. Watch. Watch them. Watch, they will. And then here's another one. It's got, come on now, Margaret. 
um, little holly hobbies in gazebos and stuff. So quaint, right? So quaint. <laughs> okay, so yes, hello, hello. Um, friends coming in. Okay, I'm going to switch over so you can see. So these are, are these my solds or, yeah, these are my solds on Etsy of wrapping paper. So you can see when it sold, sold June 15th. Um, this is one of my just like ho-hum, you know, it sold for $8.99. So if you're not picking up wrapping paper, and then so this at the estate sale was like in a closet. They had put all the, you know, like rolls of Christmas wrap and bows and all of that junk. They just like thrown it into a closet. And so it was in a bag, so tip. It was, all this stuff was in a like gift bag. They just shoved all the gift bags into one gift bag. So that's for me like can't, you know, like dig, start digging. So I dig, dig, dig through that and start pulling out all of the gift wrap. Same thing when you're at like thrift stores or garage sales. Frequently, if you see a, like a gift bag full of gift bags, you know, dig through there and see if you find some. <laughs> that's what I do. So here we go. Um, so yeah, this is, and, and usually I pay 10, 25 cents each, sometimes 50. If it's amazing, I'll pay a dollar, but it'd have to be pretty amazing. <laughs> Because <laughs> the whole point is to make money on it, right? Hello, hello, Tam. Hi, I'm sure I'm missing people in the chat. Yes, it was really good to talk to Sharon again, for sure. Okay, so this one sold for $8.99. This was another one that I was like, eh. But this one sold for $14.99. It was like the silver foil. Okay, check it out. This one has got seashells on it. It sold for $19.99. And it, so here, I like this on Etsy. They started doing this where they show you how many times you've renewed it. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Five times renewed. That means I paid a, a dollar in fees. So 20 cents each, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, whatever. So anyway, the two times, so 40 cents. That means it was up also, it'll tell you. So that means it was up for at least four to six months. Eight, eight months it would have had to renew again, right? So this one just says present, sold for $9.99. Just look at some of the prices, though, that, that you can get for wrapping paper. This one just says happy birthday all over. It sold for $14.99, $10. Um, now this one, you can see it says two sales. I had one that was complete, and I had one that was partial. So the first one sold for $14.99. The second one sold for $10. So there were two sales off of that one. $12.99, $14.99. Look at this one for The Little Mermaid, $19.99. Definitely check it out. You know, you can see, you know, I don't have to read off these prices, but you can see. I'll scroll and show you. This one was fun. These were day glow. Those were so fun. $14.99, though. Um, and some of them, like this one, sold pretty quickly. Like ones with cats. I was getting my bearing here. So this one, I think it was one sheet is what happened. So, but there were two of them. So $13.50, probably spent $0.20 cents on it. Um, definitely, definitely look into that. And then the ones here that say inactive, these are ones that sold on eBay. So I've sold, what, 43 or more. So inactive ones. These were ones that sold on eBay. 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, y'all. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Look, $24.99. This one was like, it had a whole bunch of different ones on there. So it was just like a big lot. But still. 24 something for all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, discard that. So definitely, I know I'm I'm on my soapbox. These were super cute. Little girl in the kitchen, kitschy ones. But yeah, you can get anywhere from eight, nine bucks to twenty-five bucks, right? For for some paper. For some gift wrap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's come back over here. Let me check the chat. And then I'll keep going. I'll get off my wrapping paper soapbox. Okay. That's it. All right. Now for the box of stuff that I have box of stuff. Yay. Okay, so I got this little slide viewer. There's a slide in there. It's like of some kids. But I got this mostly because I have a ton of my grandmother's slides. So I'm probably going to keep this for a while as I'm going through my grandmother's um, slides. So I saw somebody, this was really cool, I saw somebody on YouTube have one of these when I searched this, and they they were just doing like a slideshow, on, and they made a YouTube video of it, and they were just like dropping in the new slides. You can't see because there's a big bright light, but they had it angled where you could see what the picture was, and they were just like taking out the slide, putting in the next slide, so you could see it. It was really cool. I'm like, well, maybe I'll do that when I start going through my grandmother's slides. Um, 
let me see. There's a question there about the how do I ship the wrap paper? Do I put it in a flat poly mailer or do I fold it or roll it? What I do is I I think I did a video too, probably knowing me. Um I I have some poly mailers the white kind, you know, and I, it slides right in. I think it's a 15 by 12 size, um, but then I'll put a piece of cardboard, like a flat piece of cardboard in there. What other kind of piece of cardboard would I put in there? But so, yeah, I, I make it a little bit firmer with some cardboard and then it goes out like that and always been good. Always been good. Okay, so if and when I decide to sell this little previewer thing. Um, it looks like, you know, these are not sold. They're just what's up there. Somebody's selling it for 50 bucks with some slides. So they're not going for a ton, you know, anywhere from like eight to 20 bucks, but I don't have the box. So it might just be worth me keeping it because why not? Right. Okay. So next up, I'm going to flip back so I can show my stuff. Hello, hello, thank you. Um, I picked up this. I knew it wasn't like super high quality. It's a perfume bottle. There's no maker's mark or anything, but the lady that I bought the jewelry from that had this, it was like, take the whole little basket for 10 bucks. So I did. So this was in the little basket. All right, so there's that. I, again, I, I was looking at, I mean, there are perfume bottles that go for amazing money, and then there's some that go for not that much. So, um, of course, these are the amazing ones, 50 bucks, 40 bucks. So since I don't know a ton about it, I'm going to do some more research. But, and like, I was, I was mentioning this in one of my last videos, I don't normally do auctions, but I mean, maybe it's something I ought to do. I mean, maybe this is something like, I don't know. Maybe it's something I don't know, but I don't, I mean, even the, okay, so even the cork part, I mean, is, it's like, in my mind, I'm thinking replica or, you know, re reproduction, you know, because of the way, it doesn't have a cork, it has this, like, silicone, right? It's real squishy, and that is more modern, in my, right, what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm thinking that this is not really that old but it makes a fun sound. Hang on, you want to hear it? I know you do. There. Hopefully you could hear that. Um, I'll just sit around and like, do this all day. <laughs> anyway, so it was, you know, next to nothing. Cost me next to nothing because it was in my $10 pile of other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to continue with my $10 pile of other stuff and move this to the side. Okay, these things get to come to the side. It's Avon. Oh my gosh, is it? Oh, thank you so much. Okay, because I'm looking like I don't see a mark. What do I do? Oh my goodness. Avon! Yay! Woohoo! I know me and my sounds. <laughs> Things have to sound right. <laughs> well, there's some earrings in here that I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep these earrings. And I held them up and then they were like, click, 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 click. Oh no, I can't wear them. Okay, so the rest of this stuff, let me make sure. Hang on. There's a few things I got at the estate sale. I'm going to take out and do that last. Maybe, probably. And then all of this I'll show you. Yeah, the rest of this is all from the um, garage sale. So I got these earrings. So everything I'm about to show you now was 10 bucks for all of it. So these little earrings, they're pierced. There's no maker's mark on them. But I'm guessing I'll probably put them up for between 12 and 15 bucks. I do best offer. <laughs> Thanks. So there's that. Maybe 70s joints. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's those. No maker's mark. And a lot, I mean, some of these are just like, okay, it's not worth a, a crazy amount. But when you get a lot of it for 10 bucks, then you're, you can, yeah, make your money back super easy, like on one item. And that's cool. So then next up, I have this brooch. Looks like this. And it's got these it's made to look like it's got stones but it doesn't it just is like this crimped metal look and it is marked um it's the initials bsk so i was looking it up because bsk is not a brand that i that i am familiar with and so when i looked it up i think it's just the initials of the maker right when i looked it up um this is on ruby lane and they say that you know BSK stands for the names of the of the 
creators or the owners, Benny Slovit and Kaslo. So that was one I hadn't come across a whole lot. So I didn't find the same exact one, um, but they weren't going for a ton. I mean, like, well, that one's 20 bucks, so hey, maybe. But then this one's only eight. So I'm guessing I'll probably put it around the $14 range and then put a best offer on it, like so, like that. Um, oh, thanks, Joe. He said I get, did a great job hosting with um, Jason. Yeah, and, you know, I talked to Nadine because, you know, I know she's taken some time off to get everything, go you know, she's got a lot going on. So, you know, my, I mean, Nadine's my friend. I was like, girl, are you okay with me doing this? Because I don't want to... I don't, I'm not trying to take anybody's place. So anyway, it was cool. It was cool. So anyway, okay, next up. <laughs> so next up, it, so yeah, if I, it, I mean, cause I spent $10 on all that. If I, if I sell that for 14 bucks, then everything else is just extra, right? It adds up fast. Exactly. So I picked up these clip on earrings. They are marked, have some green nails in your face. They're marked West Germany on the clip part right there, like that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, hang on. Something's in my, blocking my view, so I can't see if I'm showing you correctly. Okay, so these are pretty cool. I found some similar, um, let me pop it over for you. I found some similar ones for sale, but a lot of them had like a brooch or a necklace with it. So probably, mm, I'm I'm looking at what I'm probably gonna do. I mean, I'm probably gonna put them around that, you know, twenty seventeen ninety nine dollar mark with best offer on them. Um, maybe a little less. Maybe, no, no, I'll probably put them at seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Thanks, Shelly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the I let the kids choose this time. I let them choose my hair color once. That won't happen again. <laughs> it took forever for my hair to go back to the normal shade of red. Okay, so next up, there's a bit of Avon in here. But then there's some other stuff too. Oh my gosh, I should be more organized. Where did they go? It's so cute. Just wait. It's worth the wait. No, I started getting my nails done again because I was like, I, I do so much for my family. This, this is not going to sound too bad, I don't think. I do a lot, like, for my family, and I'm always doing stuff for the house and for my businesses and blah, 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 blah. And then I don't do a whole lot to take care of myself. So I was like, I'm going to start getting my nails done again. So I did. So I just started getting my nails done again. It's hard because it's hard for me to spend money. I don't like spending money on frivolous things, really. Uh, coffee, I will, but that's not frivolous. Okay, so this, look at how cute this is. So this is like a little teapot, but it's really, I think, a coffee pot. Wouldn't you say? Because of the way it's shaped. I really think it's more of a coffee pot. And then it pours down into the cup. And it's one of these, you know, stick lapel pins. Uh, like so. Yeah. And this is an Avon pin. So while some things Avon are not so awesome, some things Avon are. So this is really cute. And here is what I found. And I know some of these are not sold, but that's okay. I don't always go off of what's sold. Um, so these ones are this one's off or sale on Etsy for eighteen dollars, and I know I saw some other ones. This one's up for fifteen on another website, and this one for ten. So anywhere in that ten to twenty dollar mark. So I will probably put mine at that you know fifteen dollar mark just to kind of be right in there, right in there. Okay. Next up, I have this bracelet. How we doing? I don't even, I, I, I shouldn't even ask how we're doing on time. But uh, thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. Um, manicures could be part of my 360 day challenge. This is true. This is true. If you haven't heard, <laughs> if you haven't heard, I am starting a 365 day challenge. I'm going to be talking about it more tomorrow. Um, my Sunday shows are going to be focused on that some. And Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon, Steve Rakin is going to come talk to me because he's made some big changes. And I was like, dude, I'm starting this challenge. I need you to come over. Let's talk. So he's going to come talk to me and we're going to talk about it. Anyway, so I'll, I'll give you more details tomorrow <laughs> about that. Okay, so this was also in that $10 of jewelry. 
that I picked up and it is like a silver tone you know al what is that abalone or like mother of pearl inlaid little butterfly um, so I could not find the same exact one but I found some you know in the similar vein that are kinda like that I I don't think mine's gonna go for for 20 bucks I'm thinking I'll probably put it up around the $14.99 point I've sold some similar to this before and that that was kinda where they went you know like that um, so maybe I'll put it up at $17.99 with best offer because I like that hello hello <laughs> you're late so we, didn't, we, we still have a bit to go so we're good you're good there's still more there's more fun to be had okay another Avon bit this is really cute. I have a lot of brooches, so I'm really trying not to get poked. I'm really trying not to get poked. Hang on. It's in here somewhere. Oh my goodness. Stop hiding from me. Here it is. It's a little mouse. Okay. Let's see. It's this little mouse, and then the glasses move, like, on the little mouse. It's got little yellow eyes, and then the glasses go up and down. So this was in the $10, you know, everything, like I say, 10 bucks. And there's that. Uh oh, what? Oh, 20 bucks. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let me screen. Oh, I for, keep forgetting. I'm not screen sharing. Just wondering if you ever go to auctions. I was going to one. Um, it was like, you can go preview it and then you, you bid online. And I enjoyed that a lot. I stopped going cause I have so much stuff. But I really enjoyed it. I actually did some videos of when I was going to to do the preview night of it or whatever. So I have done, and maybe I'll do it again, but oh my gosh, I have so much to list. <laughs> so yeah, okay, here's this cutesy cutesy little mouse. And these are ones that are up for sale right now. So everywhere from 13 bucks to 32 bucks, you know, so they're kind of all over the place. So maybe I'll put mine up around that, I don't know, $20 mark and just let it float. Because look how much space this is going to take up. Like this much little bitty space like that. So there. Cute. Hello. Hi, friends coming in. Okay, so next is this. I thought it was beautiful. I love this color green. Fancy that. <laughs> So this really pretty brooch. There's no maker's mark on it. I'm trying to get my green nails out of the way so you can really see it. So this really pretty brooch. And I could not, again, I couldn't find one just like it. But here we go. You're an auction addict. Um, here we go. So this is like similar-ish to it. Um, so this that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably put it around the $15 mark because I mean I'll dig a little more but I, I probably won't do a whole lot of digging just because I mean I know it's not going to be much more than that that's probably where it'll be about 15 bucks right so there yeah I should wear it because it matches yeah I could I'll bring brooches back how about that I think some of the girls are some of the youngins are bringing are wearing brooches again that's great because I've got lots to sell um, and then let's see I've got a I'm trying to see which one this is. So I have, I'm just going to show you a couple of rose ones that I've got. So there's this one. It's like silver tone, but then there's some purple in there in these roses. There's that one. And then this one as well is nice. It's got a lot of nice detail. And it was marked or is marked. And I can't remember what it was. I looked it up. And it's a Forster, Forstner, Forstner. And it's like 120 to 12 karat gold filled. So, I mean, just because it's gold filled, is um, it doesn't bring up the value that much. But anyway, so these, there's this one, and then there's this one, like so. And they'll probably go up for around the same price point. Hang on. I keep forgetting when I screen share. I don't have to do it like I was because it's different on this computer. So... I mean, this one, let me see if you can see it. No, of course, because it's blocked by my chat and everything. Hang on, chat. You're going to have to go hide for a second. Boop. So, like, this one here is being sold for $38. I don't think mine is going to, what is so special about this? Oh, it's sterling silver. That explains it. So, I, I mean, my guess it's going to be around that same 
you know, fifteen, seventeen dollar price point. So here's one's fifteen, all that. So that's probably what's gonna happen with those. You wear them? Okay, cool, cool. Ah, somebody was wearing a a brooch on her headband. Like oh okay. I wonder if I could do that. Oh, I could. I've got a headbands. I could like where's that green one? Wouldn't that be fun? People, I don't know, people might look at me like, I was, no, I think it might look nice. <gasps> That's a really good idea. Who said that so I can? Kristen's Curiosity said that. Look, I could totally pull that off, right? Put it on a little headband. Put it on my hair. I like it. I like it. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Mary. <laughs> hi, 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 everybody. Okay, so next up... I'm closing out because I have some windows open. Oh, what was this for? I don't remember. Let's close that out because I just don't remember. Okay, so the next is another. It's a, There's a lot of brooches. But this was a, a brand that I don't see a whole lot. And it's uh, marked SP and then W-L-I-N-D. So there is this one like that. And here is where I looked it up so here's one that has been relisted for 10 bucks and then this one is up for 10 bucks and another soul wait is this a sold one this is on Terra Peak so $16.99 I mean I'm guessing that it's gonna be you know I'll probably put it around this $12.99 price point somewhere in there like that and da da da, -da. S P W L I N D. I don't know. I didn't look it up. What a uh, what it goes for. <laughs> I know. I recognize your picture. If you change your picture, forget it. All right. It's some of the names and the and the real people's names. I can't keep them straight. And then when people change their names, oh my gosh. <laughs> then I feel horrible. Um, what a great craft idea for resale, Tams. Is that right? Cause that's so cute. Especially with the red hair, it pops, right? Pop. It looks cute. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. Okay, so next up is this leaf, which is also an Avon. Looks like so. It's like a little leaf. I'm a leaf in the wind, right? And speaking of that, okay, I'll talk to you about that in a second. So here's one that's up for sale for seven, six, not, not a whole lot, but... Hey, it was in the lot of stuff. I was like, let me just take all of it. So, <laughs> hi, Lisa. <laughs> I think I remember your picture from, yeah, you changed it. I don't know. <laughs> I knew it was somebody. Okay, my Forstner sells for a little more than other brands. Okay, Cora Napier. Cool, cool. All right, I'm looking. Mary says she loves the brooches the most, yeah. And there we go. Okay, so what's next? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one I posted a picture on my Instagram of because this is an adorable. It's this little umbrella with this kind of mother of pearl. I don't. I think it's faux mother of pearl. I don't think it's real mother of pearl. It doesn't look quite right. Anyway, so this brooch it's not marked, but let's see. Let me pop my chat back up just in case you say something I. I want to see. So here's one for sale that's on Etsy for 20 bucks. Look, look. Okay, parasol, sunshade, mid-century. Good, good keywords that I need to come and remember. Pearl shell, petunia place. Oh, this is her name. Okay, I was like, where'd she get that? Okay, no, I won't do that. Um, and then here's another one, $18.50. That's up for sale. It does, right? It kind of has that, you know, that made in Japan feel. You know what I mean? When... When you've been selling vintage jewelry or when you see stuff like that and they, because back then they had stuff that was made in Japan or made in Hong Kong. It has that feel to it like, I'll bet I would put money down that this was made in Japan or made in Hong Kong. I don't know. I could be, right, isn't it cute? Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> now I'm like, I want to put it on my head. Everything's going on my head from now on. I'm just going to like refix the back with like a little snap barrette and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start a thing y'all <gasps> oh, watch me <laughs> can I do it can I wear it on my head 
My hair's so thin, it would just like slide right out though. I would have to get like a barrette, like a snappy barrette on there. Okay, 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 okay. Focus, focus. <laughs> you can play in the mirror later. <laughs> okay, but I would. You know I'd wear it all the live long day. Okay, next up. <laughs> Um, can you guess where this poodle's going to end up? <laughs> oh, yes. There's a poodle on your head. So uh, there's a poodle brooch, and this is also an A. No, this is a Monet. Um, can I have credit if it takes off? Yes, absolutely, Kristen. I'll make sure. And if I ever say, I can't remember who told me. You smack me around. It's Kristen. At the end of the video, you should wear everything that looks good on your face. Hey Zaheer, how's it going? We were just putting brooches on my head, like so. You've got a poodle on your head. Girl, we got to say it. Girl, you've got a poodle on your head. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, why are we here? Focus. Again, good gracious. So here is this Monet brooch with the poodle. So um, people are selling it. Any Well, this is a silver tone one, but mine is gold tone. So 26, 20. So probably around the $20 mark is where I'll put this. Yeah, so wear a sash. Like, oh my gosh, do you hear that beeping? It'll stop in a minute. I don't know where it's coming from. It happened the other day. Um, but yeah, did you see uh, Raising Arizona? If you've seen that, that's what he's... Son, you got a penny on your head. Anyway, that's where that's from. Okay. <laughs> Girl, you got a poodle on your head. All right, next up... <laughs> You're watching me. Still waiting for Elaine to, to make that garage sale cat shirt. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, my sister is determined to create this crazy cat lady outfit for me and make me go out to garage sales with it. Like she wants to get a pink bathrobe and like sew cats all over it and like spray me down with essence of cougar, which I probably already have, I think, because I'm just a cougar. I don't know. Anyway. Um, how about some straight talk about your pieces instead of putting poodles on your head and wasting my time? You know what? My middle name is wasting your time, so welcome to my channel. All right, so next up is this brooch. No, it's not a brooch. It is a pendant with a scorpion on it. Hang on. I Where are you? Zaheer, I'm making you a tool. You ready? Boom. Now you're a tool. <laughs> okay. So there's that. I love raising yours. It's so hilarious, right? Yes, yes. Um, where and when? Uh oh, I'm, I missed something. <laughs> um, okay. So let me screen share again. <laughs> I got sidetracked again. Okay, so I'm going to hide the pop out chat for just a super second. Maybe, if I can remember how. There we go. And here was one. This is a brooch one, right? Um, somebody is selling it for $34, and I know I saw another one, but <laughs> so here, so here you're a tool now. All right, uh, let's see. Here's another one, and this one's, oh, I was trying to figure out the sold price on this, but for whatever reason, um, the, the flipper tools wasn't working on this new way that Etsy has showing their solds. So I've got to figure it out. Yeah. Um, how to fix that. So I don't know what it sold for. So here's another one. It's the same one. I guess I should stick it. Oh, look out of stock. 42 bucks. Is that what they got for it? Awesome. Mine's got a bit of damage to it. So I probably won't get that much. Um, like so there we go. Here's the keys to ride. God help us all. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I'll probably put, well, if they sold theirs for 42 bucks, mine has some, I don't know if I want to call it damage. I want to call it, like, character, right? It's got some character to it. And it's like a scorpion, so it's not like a pretty flower with all this damage. It's, oh, darn it, I closed that tab, and I wanted to show you. Um, here is cool. Uh... Okay, here we go. Let me go back. So apparently, I was wondering, like, is it just random that they have the scorpion one? No, they have like a whole series of the zodiac signs. So I, when I shared this, 
on Instagram. I was like, tell me what your sign is. So if you're watching later, tell me what your sign is. Or if you're watching now. Yeah. <laughs> so mine is a Taurus, which I don't see on here. I don't see a Taurus one. So it would be a bull. And I don't see it. So that's okay. But anyway, so I'll probably put this up for about... I don't know. I might still put it up for more. I might put it up for 30, 35 bucks. Yeah. So there's that. Pretty cool. Next up, what do we have? Let me get back to my my screens. I have a lot of I was really getting into looking for this scorpion because it was so cool. All right, so next is this JJ which is Johnette, I believe, you know. I think that's what that stands for. J Johnette, Johnette. Um it's this like pale pink it's kind of hard to tell in the light super pale pink um strawberry brooch i love strawberry stuff but i don't think i'm going to keep this and look how thick it is it's really thick we got leo we got pisces oh is it here you're a taurus too that explains a lot i think <laughs> maggie's also the bull yay awesome lynn oh how much did your taurus one sell do you remember so there's this one and i will probably put it up for like this one's going for 29 dollars this one's going for 28 um, because there are people like you know that collect strawberry stuff so I think that'll be probably where I put mine what's that one at that one is at 1650 from Etsy so yeah Leo okay there we go there we go cool 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 okay so there's that and it's just for funsies it's just astrology it's not like I am looking at the stars and now my stars are aligned and I don't know it's just fun though just for fun okay next up that's the strawberry still. Okay, still strawberry. Um, oh, now, my sister's not here, but I've already showed it to her. Shown it to her correctly, please, Margaret. She, had, I have shown it to her. So <laughs> here is, oh, it's a Pisces. Okay, what is Randy? Randy's an Aquarius, I think. And it's this, look at its wings. Isn't that fun? So this bee brooch, like so, 20 bucks in your Facebook group. Excellent. But it was a pin, not a pendant. Oh, okay, cool. Did you find these at an estate sale or thrift store? I missed the first part. This part of it was at a garage sale. But it was sort of an estate sale garage sale. I think she was cleaning out a bunch of old stuff. I mean, it seemed like an estate sale. It was a lot of stuff. So there's this. I think technically it was billed as an estate sale, but it was in the garage. Does that count? It's kind of like a garage slash estate sale. So yeah, I think my sister's already claimed this one here. So this little bee, I'll just set to the side. This little bee of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Anyway, the little bee's gonna go to my sister. Um, yeah. And speaking of that, that just reminded me. I have a ton of um, some friends mail to, to share. I'm gonna share it tomorrow on the Sunday show, but... Yeah, for some friends have sent some really cool stuff for me to, to give to Elaine, so I'm going to be mailing that off. So, let's see. Gemini, Gemini's. Got some Gemini's in there. My girl, Leo. Cool. Okay. So, next. Oh, yeah, this is this. Um, but isn't it pretty? And that's what, whoever did, who's ever listing this is. Style Vintage Joy. Good job. This photograph is beautiful. Love it. Great job. Um I don't know that mine would have been that good. So, okay, getting back. Lots of them out there. Oh, okay. So is that where I'm at? That's where I'm at. Okay. So the rest of the stuff I haven't looked up, so I'm just going to show it to you. And then everything else is from this other estate sale. So here is this Three Angels brooch that I picked up. Um, again, probably going to sell for about 10 bucks. Then got this Silver Tone Eagle. Is it gold tone? It's kind of hard to tell in the light. It's this eagle. And this is kind of fun. So it's a pink, like pale pink butterfly, but the wings will move up and down like so. The wings will move on it. And it's a pin back like that. Did I show you the front part of it? Like so. There. Um, also, there's a couple of these. They're just little lightweight... Um, dragonflies I can't even talk but they're yeah like so there was a couple of those I think some of these are Avon as well this is Avon this is marked Avon it says it even says Texas on it like we wouldn't know right so there's Texas and it says Texas right 
Right? Okay, put it on my head. There's a there's a brooch on your head, girl. <laughs> this one was just cute. It's like a little moon or circle with a heart in it. Ah, now it's on the floor. Okay, these were the earrings that I thought, maybe I'll keep them. But then, no, I'm not going to keep them. Okay, here we go. There. Okay, look. Okay, maybe I'll show you first. They're really kind of mod looking. They look like that. Like so. They're pierced. There, there. So. They're really big. And I thought, oh, these might be fun to wear. But I don't like the way they sound. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. And they're, they're napier. So I won't have any problem selling them, I don't think. You hear that? They don't sound very good. So I couldn't wear them. I couldn't do it. Even I knew that was Texas. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> they put it on there. Texas. Okay, so I couldn't find one just like this either. And I did look it up, so I don't know what happened to my... Um, it's a little brooch with... It's kind of this woven gold tone stuff. And a bell. It's kind of weird, but cool at the same time. <laughs> I couldn't find one just like it. Um, and then there's a butterfly, but he's missing a an antenna. I don't know what to do about that. He's missing one. Do I just take the other one off? Wind chimes, yes. Uh, okay. So there's that. And that one's a Monet, but again, like, what do I do? Like, clip off the other antenna to make it equal? I got this pretty little cross with... They almost, they're the color of, like, smoky topaz, quarter of kind of color. It's really blingy, like so. Okay. And the bell brooch. Oh yeah, for sure. If you wore those loud earrings, you'd never be able to get lost in the store. I'd know where I was. Here I am. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so there's this one, a little stick pin one. Some of the, I mean, some of these are not going to be worth like crazy money, but you know, all, like I said, the whole thing was 10 bucks. Let a little butterfly. People like butterfly brooches. They do. And I didn't look this one up either. It's a cute little Christmas tree. Blingy little tree. Was there anything on the back of the Christmas bell? I didn't see anything. Let me show you the back of it. Hang on. This is the back. <laughs> this. Let me, one more time. This is the back. Like so. See? Nothing. But I liked how on the top of the bell, okay, see there's these red and green stones, but then the top of the bell has it too. But you almost can't see it unless you're wearing it. You know, so like if you're wearing it, you can, so that's kind of nice. It's got that little feature. Cool. Leave the other antenna on there and disclose buyer can decide if they want to snap it off or not. True, true, true. I know, right? All of it for 10 bucks, and I still have a little bit more. So I was pulling, I, I did a ride along. Uh, of my day yesterday. I haven't put it up yet. And as I'm going through, there was like a little sewing tin. This is from that too. Okay, so I'll show it. Um, and these were in there. They're like old, like diaper pins. I thought there was one more. I thought there were three of them. But anyway, old little diaper pins. But as I'm digging through this tin that's got all of the sewing stuff in it, there's like razor blades in there. I'm like, whoa! Okay, so... I started digging through with something else. There are brands of Christmas ornaments worth big bucks. Oh, yeah. Bell kind of looks like a tassel. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do a little more digging on it because it's really kind of cool. I mean, it's got some nice features. I'm saving that one because it's super cute. So I've got this little pendant. It's like a little fan. I didn't... These are the ones I haven't looked up, so I just ran out of... I didn't necessarily run out of time. I just didn't look them all up. I could have been sitting at my computer looking them all up, but anyway, so it hangs on the, on this chain on the pendant part there. Isn't it cute? I think. Yeah. Margaret, do you shop in Value Village? We have them, but I don't go very often. They're not always the best where I live. Where I live. We don't have savers either. Um, okay, this one is cool. Another little heart. Kind of like a porcelain. It's not exactly porcelain. Well, maybe it is. Little heart, or not heart, flower. Bracelet. I'm almost done with this stuff. Bracelet, just silver tone. Oh my gosh, you found razor blades in the bottom of auction lots. Yes. 
I sorry, yeah, I found something real quick to start digging with instead of my fingers. This was one that I wish that the mate was there, but this is an earring, a solo. There was no mate, but I really liked them. They were funky. It was funky. There. Like so. It kind of looks like a cowbell. Bong, bong, bong. Does used jewelry sell better on Etsy or eBay? It just depends. Um, it's For me, it sells on both. So I just, I just put it on both. Um, USA. USA. That, that's a, yeah. And I have another solo earring there. But it's got a little piece of turquoise, sterling silver. Some of these I was really hoping that the mates would be there, but they weren't. And then this is one that I probably should have looked at, but look how cute. It's a little kangaroo and the mommy and the joey. And the little joey moves around in there. You can't take him out. But he wiggles. He moves. See? I can bonk him on the nose. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Like that. <laughs> now 50% more cowbell. Exactly. I really need more cowbell. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There was this little thing of perfume, which again, I also did not look up. That's okay. And then this was also in there. This was... One of my favorite pieces, however, even though it's not worth a ton, is one of my favorite ones that I got because in the ride along, I do some singing and I'm randomly like passing H-E-B, singing my H-E-B song like I do. And I decide because I'm singing with like a country twang, I decide it should be Piggly Wiggly instead, right? So when I get to this garage sale and I'm digging through that tin full of stuff, this is in there. And I was like, are you kidding me? I never think about Piggly Wiggly, nor do I sing about Piggly Wiggly. And then the day I do, Piggly Wiggly. So, I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. So then I was like, I need to start singing about diamonds. I need some diamonds in my life. I need some diamonds. Bring them my way. Anyway, so this, it's a Piggly Wiggly, like, promotional thing where you would get little needles. It was a sewing kit, right? A little, a little sewing kit. Piggly Wiggly. Cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yes, pig karma. Yes, green stamps. Do you remember those? My grandmother used to have those books with the... Anyway. Okay. So next up... So Oh, oh, oh. Let me show you the Piggly Wiggly. But part of me is like, I don't want to sell it now. Five bucks? It's worth more to me than five bucks in my brain. Um... So yeah, this sold for, and this is, this was a little bit different because a lot of them, and this one's complete. So of course mine's not going to go for that much money. So I might have to keep it just because I thought it was so funny. $7 and 80 cents. I don't know. I think Piggly Wiggly's going on my board behind me um, because I, I like it more than selling it for five bucks. Piggly Wiggly, Piggly Wiggly sewing kit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Piggly Wiggly from, oh yeah, from Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> and that's the thing, like, they have them in certain parts, but we don't even have them here. So, not in this, not in the part where I live. So, I don't know. I haven't seen one since I was in Louisiana, visiting a friend. Yeah. Um, so, he will probably end up on my table behind me. I, I have it hidden because it's a mess. My room is a mess right now. Okay, so, then I went to an estate sale, and the rest of the stuff is from the estate sale. I picked up some cufflinks. Um, I'm not quite sure I understand. So there is there are these, and they're not like super exciting, but I'll probably put them up for $14.99. And these ones were Hickok, I think. Yeah, these ones are Hickok brand, like that. And then I got these ones, which are not marked by the maker, but are marked 12 karat gold filled, which is bizarre to me. Why would you put that, but not the maker's mark? So these, again, also probably going up for, you know, in that 14, maybe 17 99 because they're a little bit, I like that oval shape. Uh, I also got, speaking of astrology, I got a Pisces necklace, and it's got that on the back. It was not with the jewelry. It was hanging like on a hook in the bedroom, in one of the bedrooms. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Love my thrifted stuff. Yeah, the round ones are kind of mod. They're like silver tone, and then there's like this brushed kind of gold tone brassy color in there. Yeah, it's a grocery store fit. And then my son saw this and was like, oh, can I have this? I like those fish. I'm like, no, no, no. It's Pisces. Like, you're not a Pisces. You're Sagittarius, son. You're a Sagittarius, honey. 
Okay, I now I looked this up. I know I did. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Do I have another window open somewhere? No, no, I don't. Okay, I did look this up, but so I got I picked up this bolo, and I paid up for this one. I paid, I think I paid five bucks for this, which is kind of a lot, but I I figured I could get. It's in really good shape. Um, and I, the ones that I looked up were not selling for that much, but I'm probably going to put mine up for a higher price because the piece is so big. And I want to say, I want to say it's some sort of agate. And I, I think it's got some kind of, some iron in there. Because look at that green oxidation that's coming out like so. Anyway, uh, I could be wrong. But anyway. I'll have to do a little more digging about what kind of stone this is. It's weird because it's polished on most of it, but then the parts that are not polished, this green, you know, oxidation is coming out. Heather no stones, right? Is Heather there? Bolo on the bolo, right? And it's got a nice, really firm clip in the back to keep the ties on there, whatever they're called. So there's that. Hello, I'm doing well, Nancy. Hello, hello. Um, and then, oh, I forgot this one. There's two more bits. There's that. And then I picked this up. There we go. Hey. Um, it's not glass. It's plastic. But it was $2. So I thought, okay, I'll get that. It'll probably just stay here for me when I can't find my loop. Hang on. There it is. Um, <laughs> yes, the octopus. My octopus necklace. Um, that's what I thought, Heather. Okay, I was like, I think it's agate. I don't want to say it wrong, though. Okay, and then the piece de la resistance is this little wallet. I love it. So, little buckaroo wallet. And it was from Astroworld, which was a theme park that we had here, like an amusement park. But it closed down. They took, they tore it down. Um, but there are collectors for Astroworld stuff. So, there are other little buckaroo wallets out there, but not, I couldn't find one with Astroworld. So, like, here's one. This is zero. Oh, sold out. Okay, that, that explains that. Um, but yeah, I mean, 10 bucks. I think I can get more because of. Because of. I know there's Astroworld collectors. Now, here's the other thing, too inside of it were like little bits of you know like ticket stubs like whoever the little boy that owned it's grown man now you know ticket stubs from Vulcan Park Park and Recreation Birmingham Alabama you know and then this one from the National Baseball Hall of Fame cost two dollars and twenty five cents to get in as an adult so I was you know I think it was Nevada was saying are you gonna leave those in there for you know for the buyer, I don't know. Randy wants to keep the little slips, ticket stuff. Like, why? You know? He, uh, <laughs> exactly. Okay, hang on. I missed something. Looks like a bit like moss agate, also known as moss. Oh, oh cool, cool, cool. I will have to look that up. Um, copper oxidizes green. Iron oxidizes red. Okay. See, and I knew, like, if I say it, it's going to be wrong. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And I know that, too. When you say it and I say it out loud. That's right. Okay, so that's my haul. I tomorrow I will be going live um, talking about my 365 day challenge. I also have some friend mail that I'm going to be sharing because I've got some stuff that Rose sent and I got some stuff that Nancy sent and I think I had a little bit more of something else too. So yeah, that's coming out as well. So I'm really excited about that everybody. Um, again, thank you everybody for coming to watch live. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button. And if you would, come follow me on Facebook. I'm at Texas Gal Treasures. I also have a thrifting group called International League of Thrifters and a, a jewelry group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. And I'm so excited because a lot of our jewelry group members are really good at buying lots of jewelry off of eBay and not getting a box of junk. And so we're doing some private hangouts in, within the group where they're going to come and show us like that what, what they look for exactly. So I'm really excited. And who was it that was like, Margaret, what are you doing, Christine? I think, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't need any more jewelry? You got a lot of stuff to list. Doesn't hurt to have some more, you know. Okay, and if you are interested, if you are on uh, merch, um, check me out on 
Patreon because I'm over there creating shirt designs and videos and doing coaching and things like that for merch sellers. So super fun. Uh, thank you everybody and I will see you tomorrow. Bye all. And I can't remember how to stop this thing. Where's it here? <laughs> when I need them. <laughs> um, hang on. I'm still talking. Okay. Bye guys.